Hi, welcome to the first and probably the only edition of Some Space News. I'm your host, astronaut Chris Cassidy, live from the International Space Station, flying somewhere 250 miles above our beautiful planet Earth. Let's get on to the segments. I have my notes, which are stored in a bag, but because of the flammability hazard of paper, we take serious safety precautions to make sure that we, the crew, are safe from fire hazard. Therefore, my notes are stored inside this cargo transfer bag with several items, other items that have no relevance to my notes. And on to the news. And we have liftoff. It was a successful launch of an HTV cargo ship. Congratulations to our Japanese counterparts as they blast off a beautiful night launch. We watch it here on board as a cargo ship full of science equipment, food, spare parts, everything we need logistically to keep the space station running. Three, two, one. Topic number two is the arrival of my friends and colleagues Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley on the first manned SpaceX Crew Dragon. This is a momentous day for our, our history of manned spaceflight as it marks the first time we've launched people again from the coast of Florida since 2011 when we flew the last space shuttle. Doug Hurley was on that last space shuttle flight in 2011. He was also my crewmate in 2009 on STS-127. So, Doug and I have a deep history of space flight together and I look forward to having both of them on board as part of Expedition 63. By the way, everybody's paying attention to the technical stuff related to that launch, but on board here we're making sure they have their foods organized, their sleeping quarters is squared away, their clothing is all in order, and their toothbrush is hanging at the bathroom. I got you, Bob and Doug. So on that note, we'll say I'll sign off and say goodnight to the whole world. It's a pleasure going around you 16 times a day. We look down with envy, we look down with pride, and we look down with fascination as uh, our planet is there, a spaceship for all of us, home to every one of us. Thank you for watching Some Space News. Subscribe for more space.